Hi. So, all of the new inverters are up. They're communicating, and uh, they're they're working just fine. The the battery communication is only done with the one, the host inverter. Okay. So you just hook hook up to your RS-485 and then hook it up to your communication port for your inverter which it, it says battery on the new ones okay now when they set these out this is a new inverter and this is one that they loaded the new firmware and changed some of the uh, the, you know, change the software and some of the components. I guess they have to change a board in the inverter itself. That's still an old inverter with old firmware. I'm using that for battery charge only at the moment. We, uh, the uh, solar assistant is not working on this at the moment. I've got a I've got to call into Solar Assistant, or a, I sent them an email, and hopefully we'll get to figuring out why it's not communicating, and we'll be able to get it up and running. So it is nice to be able to look at your phone and know what's happening with your inverters and your batteries and that type of thing, how much energy you're using and how much you're not. I uh, I am running all my power through my inverters at the moment. We did uh, we did go ahead and turn off the grid power. So the only power going to my house is coming from our inverters and from the battery. But Everything is up and running and working just fine. And the other inverters are working too, it's just they wouldn't communicate with the new one because of the different firmware. We will be getting that one over there on the right exchange and getting the new firmware. We also got our bus bars covered. And those of you that saw my bus bar video, I do have a bus bar that connects these. When we get our batteries, which is supposed to happen today, I'll hook that battery up, because that don't go nowhere. And the one on the right up there doesn't go anywhere. And that's disconnected. You can see the yellow part sticking down. When uh, we get the... Uh, new batteries we'll go ahead and hook that up and then we'll have more batteries and when we do hook that up I'm just gonna I'm gonna make sure these are at a hundred percent then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just hook up where I only have the two batteries um, and I'll charge from my solar on those two batteries and have these shut off and uh, that way I'll get them up to 100% and then we'll hook everything all up together. So, just a quick little update on what's going on. But yeah, the, uh, the solar assistant is not communicating with the new firmware. When I disconnected the, the two older inverters with the uh, 907 firmware, it, uh, didn't want to communicate so that's uh that's basically what's going on when we get a new battery rack in we'll get that thing hooked up and we'll uh update you then anyways thank you please like comment and subscribe